everything was going so well. Nephi, Zagan, happy, happy, happy. And then what does he do at the end? He just says, Nephi, pack up your bags. Wait, you don't even have luggage, broke ass. Get your shit out of my fucking palace. Why? Why couldn't he have just said, listen, Nephi, I've just become an arc demon. And I'm about to walk into the depth of hell. And I don't want you to be dragged down with me. Therefore, I want you to leave. But nah, bro was like, Nephi, the fuck out of my face. And then she was just like sitting outside a random person's like house door. Just like depressed, looking down. It's like, why? What? Because we need to have a little bit of, you know, manufactured drama. So that Zagan will do something. And then we'll get Nephi back. And then we'll get more Riz and more Elf Pride shit, right? Let's begin today's episode. That's also a very good point. He literally dropped his life savings on her and then kicked her out. That's insane. Which I guess goes to show how much he cares about her. It's not about the money. It's about her safety, I guess. Oh, it's the night! Holy night! Oh, shit! No, 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 just chill, 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 chill. It's a coincidence here. No, 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 chill, Nephi, chill, Nephi. No, 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 no! Come on, kill me, come on, kill me. Wait, how did they know Nephi already? I didn't know that regular townspeople knew Nephi like that. I guess it's because she's so pretty. And whenever Zagan and Nephi are like walking into town, they're like, oh my god, who is that elf? That's right, help her. <laughs> the red-haired girl fucking harassing her. Go, go in there. Come on, kill me, kill me, do it! Hit me! Harpy girl. That was a heroic landing. I feel bad, actually. I feel bad for this night. She did nothing wrong. Everyone is gaslighting the shit out of her right now. Uh -oh. <laughs> Boo! L Angelic Knight! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> this is kind of funny and sad at the same time. Not yet! Zagan. Zagan. <laughs> Liar, L. Church always lies. Angelic Knights, L. Heartbreak can be literally physically painful. I'm sorry for gaslighting you. Yeah. She... Mission where she tried to fucking kill us. Yeah. In fact, Nephi did something to her instead. She does use that. Power of trees and plants and shit. <laughs> He's got PTSD now. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing over trauma is so fun. Okay, so there's this plant right beside him. So this is the guy that got hit with Nephi's like Hashirama, you know, technique, right? It's on the house. Oh, oh she. No! The lamb stew! That she was ready! She was making for Zagan! This motherfucker better have ate that stew, bro. Zagan better have fucking ate that stew while crying with regret. <laughs> Not the lamb stew! Zagan needs to pay for this, bro. He needs to get punished. Why did she exactly Zagan? Why? Well, we know why. You, you're just shoving Nephi into your titties. It's nice though that she got friends now, huh? No, he's just a bit acoustic and doesn't know how to communicate his feelings. Arc demon meeting. Yep, 13 strong beings. They have, have emblems too, important emblems. Apparently. No, it's not over. Wait, 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 wait! Remember this? And then as soon as we, we it's like, he, 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 this is the church pope, pope guy, and he was like, yo, Zagan's kidnapping. And then the red haired girl was like, really? Do you have any proof? And he's like, actually, I don't think he's related to this at all. But still, fuck him. Go get him. <laughs> Salvation offering. Ah, it's a fucking just taxing the citizens, huh? That's why the other people were like, enough of your shitty fucking offerings, Angelic Knight. 
Kind of true. Okay, Nephi is getting more friends though. This is nice. It's not a horror. Arc demons are symbols of evil that the angelic knights must kill. Interesting. Okay, the sacred sword. That's what she had. It was fucking OP. But there's only 12 sacred swords. 13 arc demons. Why is there an offset? Really? So the church tries to kill a new arc demon immediately before they get stronger. Yes! He's trying to protect you. I don't think she needs protection though. She's kind of cracked. Nope. <laughs> Skill issue. Zakara's <laughs> just a stand-up good guy. And... What was that? Wait, 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 what the fuck was that? When I fucked him, he was holding back because I was a woman. And she started blushing. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> Nephi, get angry right now and jealous and start bearing your fangs against her. Nephi! Nephi! Stand your ground! Let her know, it's your man! Zagan kind of does have that riz, huh? It's the... When girls see some broken people, they're like, Oh, I can fix him. They never can. But, you know, he got the, he got the I can fix him riz. Surprise, Nephi's not getting jealous or, like, angry. Okay. Meaning? Wait, what is this blush? <laughs> Rare Nephi face. This is actually kind of, I don't know. It looks like a, looks like a Nephi thinking of loot things as Zagan right now. Do they need any else? Alright, we're going back. Zagan's gonna probably fuck it up. He's gonna say something dumb again. It's true, I feel like Nephi needs to protect Zagan. It's not Zagan that's protecting Nephi. We've seen Nephi's potential for magic, mysticism. She's insane! So, at the end of the day, like, Zagan needs Nephi. Kojujin-sama! <laughs> And what's that? Are you gonna, yeah, we're gonna kill the Arc Demons? What do you mean? Cool. But there is someone that seems to be framing Zagan. But like, they say that it's a sorcerer. But what if it's not a sorcerer? Wouldn't it be... Would it, is it too far reaching to assume that like the church, those like church people are like doing the kidnapping and they're just blaming it on sorcerers? Like it's like a convenient excuse, right? I, I just feel like that would be a very simple thing to do. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You said it's on the house for Nephi, but not for the angel at night. Now the bill's on her? Okay, okay. <laughs> she was actually gonna put the bill on her. <laughs> the outfits. Yo, the outfits. They could have a straight up an OV episode of just the outfits episode. The, the shit that she put on Nephi was... <laughs> <laughs> Mm, she kind of folded when Miffy was so cute wearing stuff, right? Oh! First foot! Oh, blushing on the ears! <laughs> oh, they just all want friends! This is getting strangely wholesome. Shared lamb stews together. Oh, yeah, it's the guy that got trauma. Surprise, <laughs> Nephi's not gonna try to kill Tortoise right now. Yo, we got a sword out! Church sucks, boo! Whoa, 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 The fuck is this? Actually, Dub Chastil saved her. Oh, it's the sorcerer that's, you know, um, catfishing as Zagan and framing him. So it is an actual sorcerer. Well, can't the church have also a sorcerer, maybe? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying too hard to blame this on the church, but 
Someone is impersonating. Not the real one, not the real one. Uh, Zagan's actual castle? So, like, did they actually take him to Zagan's castle? It's not Zagan, but... <laughs> Couple episodes ago, too, they kept fucking talking about how, oh, we are the Cerulean Knight. How could this be? Every time you showed up, you get bodied. The amount of self glazing the Cerulean Knights does to themselves is crazy. Oh, oh Nephi! Nephi! No, Zagan! They just convey that communication a little bit better, bro. They do love her, though, yeah. Actually, no. The other Zagan just stole her. Ah, she's cool. Yeah, she's a good person. His Eminence, the Cardinal. So, I'm gonna assume that the Cardinal is not the bald priest Pope looking dude that told her to take out Zagan. It's probably some higher level guy or maybe the cardinal is him but yes it is his eminence the eminence and shadow oh she doesn't remember he doesn't know her name right <laughs> step on him more actually no 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 chill 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 she's actually trying to help now that chastil has also been stolen along with nephi we have further evidence and if zagan helps then it's like kind of more evidence that, you know, Zagan's a good guy, and the, and the Cerulean Knights here too are hearing this shit. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what evidence we have. The church people are gonna be like, uh, fake news. Oh, oh. no, what? She's right. True! You baited her! <laughs> You gave her hope for nothing! It's not the physical attack, it's the emotions. <laughs> the expressive twitching ears. I guess he's like saying like, yeah, I am fucking trash for doing that to Nephi. <laughs> okay, Ana Koji. <laughs> yes! But I swear to god, if you cliffhanger this and we just do it next episode. Yo, he's acting like an arc demon now. Damn. Nice speech. Nice monologue. Hey, come with, come with. First friend! You know what? The Cerulean Knights? They're low key kind of funny. I thought they were just fucking evil goons, but honestly, each one of them. They have it kind of funny. What you do? Is it a sorcerer we know? There's no way it's Barbatos, right? Because like we do know a Barbatos, but like that's his name, right? Barbatos, Barbatos, Bar you know that guy, the friend. But what other sorcerers do we know that could be impersonating? But like we don't personally know those other sorcerers, right? Other than Barbatos. That's why it's like it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Nature. Can't you like do shit with rocks? Like rock bend or some shit. Barbatos! Barbatos! Really? It was just you? It was just you this all this time? Yeah, I thought you were a good person. Well, everything for the sake of power, right? So, I don't want to think that he's evil. He must have his different plans. It just seems kind of evil, evil right now. I is he a traitor? Nope. Oh, okay. Don't tell me this is revenge. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so then what is it then? Yeah, all that gold. So he was jealous that he was given all that castle. Nephi. Well, he bought Nephi, but he's just jealous of Zagan. Really? That's it? Bro, are you serious? You're a fucking C grade villain, man. It's him. 
I want to believe that he's, you know, doing this not just for this, but really? Is, is this it? Okay, this, this is more, now this is like more like makes sense, okay. I get it that like basically everything of his former master was given to Zagan because Zagan killed. But like it's like really just that, but it's like no, no, no. If there's like another reason to like join the 12 arc demons, then it's like, okay. <laughs> The door. Metaphorically. Yes, Zagan will show up. Unless Nephi solves everything here. That would be crazy. If Nephi actually just like solves everything and Zagan shows up and Nephi's already handled everything. Holy shit. Holy shit! The way that she's talking right now, she's like, no, we don't want to bother Zagan. Oh, Barbatos didn't know about that. My bad, my bad. It was just very recent. I thought that word with news would spread or some shit. That's like the fucking Arc Demon's newspaper. He earns the seat. What is that? What is that? Nah, don't you dare drag her! Mm -mm. Can, can we sacrifice him instead? How does that work? Is it possible for Nephi to just reverse this? New soundtrack? Mysticism! Oh. Oh. This soundtrack, though. The Orc Demon has arrived! Yo, he heard it too! And I feel like a cliffhanger is happening. No cliffhanger, no cliffhanger. Fuck you! Fuck you! We did it! Well, I mean, we didn't really do anything, but hey, so Nephi, you know, started off with really fucking sad and crying, but like we have friends, right? We have the Harpy Girl, we got Chastity, I'll remember their names later. And it's nice that Nephi has, you know, someone else to, you know, kind of like be with, not just Sakan. And like the people of this village just all fucking adore, you know, Nephi. It's so fun how like the villagers all shit on the Cerulean Knights and like the Angelic Knights, right? It's like, boo, you're bullying Nephi, boo. Enough with the fucking holy offerings. There's a, the comedy in this show actually kind of hit. It actually does hit the Cerulean Knights. I don't know how long it's gonna last, the running gag of the guy having PTS and stuff, but it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Now, the uh, the mystery of the basically the face like stealer the the person that's impersonating Zagan it really was just Barbatos huh like goddamn I thought that Barbatos would have been like a friend that's like well like then again he did always say we're sorcerers right what do you mean friends but you know we were like hanging out and drinking tea but at the end of the day bro was just fucking jealous because Zagan was given everything that his master had because Zagan killed him and he didn't even know about the Arc Demon's position until the very end and that just fucking snapped him, huh? The power difference between Zagan and Barbatos should be pretty significant. Why? Because even before we ascended to Arc Demon, I think Zagan and Barbatos was at worst even. But now we have that emblem. Remember that emblem? Like, all Arc Demons was given an emblem, and that's like crack source of power. So, next episode, we should be fucking destroying him. Part of me kind of wishes that Nephi was able to like save herself and just like destroy Barbatos using her mysticism. And by the time Zagan showed up, he was like, What's going on, Goshijin sama? You know, that would have been pretty funny too, but hey, I'll take the traditional hero arriving late to save the princess. That's it from me, though. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.